In this video, the Pokies 57 CNC interface will be controlling the on and off triggering of a 40 watt CO2 laser. I will demonstrate this using Mach 3 and the Pokies 57 CNC plugin. Start by going to the config, ports and pins, spindle setup, and I'll be using the MIST, which uses the M7 M code. You have the option of using M8, that normally serves as flood. M9 turns these both off. To turn on the mist, and I'm using output number four, make sure you dis disable flood mist relays. And now we can go into the plugin control and configure the Pokies 57 CNC. Under the Pokies mapping tab, go all the way down to the pulse engine, and we're gonna look for the SSR1. And you can use output number four or output number three. In this case, I'm using output number four because it's already associated in the Mach 3 as the mist. The laser triggering is going to be connected to the SSR1, which is the solid state relay. When the solid state relay is not engaged, 5 volts is on this terminal referenced from the ground here. So we want to make sure that we connect the trigger to a trigger low, not a trigger high on the laser power supply. The 5 volts from the laser is going to go here which is a five volt um, common terminal. And the negative or the ground terminal is gonna be connected to this ground, which is the external power ground. The white wire is the trigger, trigger low on my power supply. The red wire is five volts on my laser power supply. And the black wire on my laser power supply is the ground. And I'm just going to share this same ground terminal. M7 will trigger the laser, and M9 will turn the laser off. Okay, go ahead and turn the laser on. Okay. The laser is powered, but the trigger is not on. So when I press F M M7, I'm going to immediately turn M7, or press M9 so it can turn off. Okay, so we were able to trigger the laser using the Pokies board and using the SSR1. And you would wire the potentiometer as you would normally wire to a to a laser power supply to control intensity.